Race selection continues today in the murder trial of Karen Reed. And while the process continues, we're also learning more about the arguments expected to be made by the defense. WBZ's Anna Myler is at the courthouse in Dedham for us out with the latest on the case, Anna. Brianna Kate Karen Reed just arrived here at court court moments ago as day two of the jury selection process gets underway. A process that is particularly challenging in this case that has captivated so many people. Karen's Reed supporters are back out here this morning standing in a court mandated buffer zone in pink since the judge ordered them not to wear apparel referencing the case so close to court. Her supporters believe she was framed and not responsible for hitting her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV and leaving him to die in a snowstorm. The judge ruled that her lawyers can pin the blame on someone else during the trial, but first, the jury must be selected. The pool started with 90 prospective jurors. About 70 already knew about the case, and 25 had an opinion on it. The goal is to reach 12 jurors plus a few alternates. You pretty much have to be living under a rock or not in Boston uh, to not have heard of the Karen Reed case. So the question is, you'll find people who are familiar with the case, but at least have the ability or claim to have the ability to keep an open mind. So four jurors were seated yesterday. That process continues first thing this morning. Live in Dedham, Anna Myler, WBZ News. We will stream the Karen Reed trial live once opening statements begin on CBS News Boston and Pluto TV. You can also stream an in-depth look at the history of the case right now on the WBZ YouTube page.